Long time no see, just haven't had anything to uh, pick up. Got a coin from someone on the Facebook group. I did place an order with gold, silver, dot B, kind of pre Brexit. It arrived today, just before this. Just going to do an unboxing of this because I haven't opened up the other box yet, and I'll get on to undoing that after. Let's try and get it open. So. been looking to try and get one of these for a while one of these two dragons with a queen obviously on that side we'll get into it in a minute try and have a bit of a closer look surprised they haven't brought this out in a 10 ounce but i'm not buying much with the wedding coming up and hadn't bought anything really big apart from the few dragons that i've picked up when i was looking when i did make my order from gold silver dot b kind of like pre brexit there is coins that I need and they never seem to have any of these in stock when i was thinking about placing the order so with time running out i decided to uh, pull the trigger did sell a couple of little things that add up for sale kind of helps me move it out a bit but um yeah rather nice coin the lady i bought it from said it was pretty good no uh, problems spots or anything but you never know what happened but obviously people know i collect dragons and whatnot so little dragon beautiful coin be good in a 10 ounce this coin but i could afford to get one at the moment it's another thing quite a few dragon last year there was the whatever george and the dragon coin variant and they brought out a new one which i think looks a bit more appealing but obviously it was on pre-order and i didn't want to wait till too late to get it shipped and if we do leave the eu with no deal then what's going to happen with buying from eu dealers in long term i mean it may open up new avenues but maybe i'll talk about that another day or let's talk about it now my thoughts on that obviously they may extend so we'll be in the eu as long as we're in the eu you can buy from gold silver dot b or other european dealers talk about gold silver dot b postage costs have gone up slightly because it's fedex delivery now rather than what it was through yodel or through the belgium postal service and then it was yodel this end so it's like 29 euros unless you buy about 40 then it goes down to 22 euros the added advantage of buying from gold silver dot b sometimes for the smaller stacker is the ability to store your first order and then add subsequent orders to to that order which i didn't do this time but i have done in the past because you know who knows what's going to happen after the 29th of march so no point storing i want it in hand for that eventuality so yeah you could store your order say you only had enough to buy 20 ounces a month you could pay for the 20 ounces have them store it then buy another 20 ounces the next month or two months later or whatever and then ask them to ship it and they ship the 40 ounces and you'd only pay one lot of shipping have picked up another 40 ounces different coins everything's going all right with the wedding just trying to pay for stuff now rather than later there hasn't really been much buy-in of silver although i did pick up a few dragons and obviously there's another dragon you know i decided to pick one up this side of the water because one of those things but yeah it's very nice so that's the Chinese dragon, and then we have the lovely Welsh dragon. And this coin did come all the way from Wales. That's all I'll say. Dear to my heart, I was talking to the seller about the local area, and it was the same area I lived in myself when I was in Wales, and fond memories. I'm not Welsh, but sometimes these coins, raw mint coins, can be very hit and miss. You know, it's just one of those things. You just don't know just how they mint them or after they're minted they go down kind of a recess and then slide over each other like that down into it if it's full you know they can get damaged there it's running on a bit of the video just a one ounce there 40 more ounces of silver to come shortly thanks for watching like comment subscribe and yeah that was the other thing finally like 
hit 1,000 subscribers, no big deal. I'm going to do another video about that another time, about my views, you know, those sort of things. I'm going to try and get back into swing of doing videos out of practice, you know, when you ain't got much to pick up. It's like, should I churn out videos for the sake of churning out a video? No, that's not my style or the direction I want to go. My channel is more about my journey in silver and my perspective of what I see works for me you know not that some things don't work for other people but location budget different things that makes us all individual and good back at you soon with another video it may take a while for me to edit that one these things take time so see you all later